Hi, this is Dr. David Tenner. We're here at the Goldberg Tenner Clinic, just outside of Atlanta, where we specialize in reversing chronic diseases, chronic health problems. And today I'm delighted to be joined by one of our patients, Ms. Mallory Hughes. And Mallory came to see us almost a year ago now. Yeah. Uh, started in April 4th, was, uh, 2019 was her first visit. It is now March 25th of 2020, so almost a full year. Mallory has done beautifully under our care. She came in initially with some fairly debilitating health issues, which she's gonna talk about in just a moment. But she's done excellent. She's, she's made a near full recovery. She's doing great. And she's gonna share uh, her success story here with us. So Mallory, i turn it over to you. Uh, tell us originally what brought you in, what kind of problems you were having at that time. So initially I had been suffering a lot of gastro, and gas, Gastrointestinal. Gastrointestinal <laughs> distress for a few years. Um, I had seen two gastroenterologists. I went to one in a different city and they told me I had IBS. And really after anything I ate, no matter what, I was super bloated and very, very uncomfortable. Um, so I moved here and went to see a nutritionist who was like, no, I don't think that's it. Go see this other doctor. I went to a different gastroenterologist who ended up diagnosing me with SIBO. Um, she gave me the test, I tested positive, and then um, the treatment plan was to do a round of Zyfaxin. I did that, and initially that was pretty helpful. I felt good for a few weeks afterwards, um, maybe a month or two, and then the same issues kind of started happening again. And so after consulting with that doctor, she was like, you know, you had so many years of digestive upset that it probably will just take a few rounds of antibiotics to kind of clear it all out. So, so how many how many rounds of Zyfaxin did you ultimately have take? Over the course of just a few months, probably from May until January, I think I did probably four rounds, four okay. or five rounds. And for those of you uh, listening, uh, Zyfaxin is an antibiotic commonly prescribed for bacterial overgrowth of the small intestines coming on a SIBO. Mallory had been to a few different gastroenterologists and nutritionists and different doctors who were ultimately just throwing labels at you. IBS, mm -hmm. which is a common diagnosis when they don't know what's wrong with you. So, well, we don't know, so your bowel must be irritable because you're having these symptoms. It's just a label, it means virtually nothing. It's not that the symptoms aren't real, it just does, it's not very helpful because it doesn't tell you what's causing them. Right. And then SIBO is another one of those common diagnoses being thrown around. It uh, stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And what ends up happening is bacteria in the small intestine end up migrating to areas where they shouldn't be. It interferes with the normal digestion of food, resulting in fermentation, specifically of carbohydrate, and uh, interfering with the uh, normal breakdown and, and utilization of nutrients, and commonly re uh, results in significant gas, bloating, and other signs of digestive distress, and commonly uh, diagnosed as, as IBS as well. So. Um, medically, from a conventional medical standpoint, also a lot of alternative and so-called functional doctors will treat that problem with antibiotics. Cyfaxin is, is one of those antibiotics that are commonly used. But it's virtually, uh, it may give the person some temporary relief as you experienced, but it's never a good long-term solution because the problem ultimately ends up coming back uh, once the antibiotics are discontinued because it's done nothing really to address the cause of the problem. So the real question is, why did that problem happen in the first place? What was the patient doing? What was the circumstances of their life? Did they get run down? Are their habits not in line? That ultimately led to that problem occurring. And interestingly, one of the most common causes mm -hmm. of SIBO is antibiotics. Yet right. they treat SIBO with antibiotics. Go figure. So I've seen this story, heard this story you know, multiple times. People come in, they're told they have SIBO, they've been on antibiotics. They feel better for a little while, and then the problem comes right back, and often comes back worse than it was before. And that was Mallory's situation when she came in. So we said, forget about all that. Let's get down to the root issues here. Let's look at, uh, at your history. Let's get a detailed history. Let's do an exam. Let's get the right type of lab work and really start the process of rehabilitating your health, not just focusing on symptoms and treating symptoms. And so we developed a, a program for Mallory to uh, implement and you had some bumps along the way. We had to work mm -hmm. through those bumps. Almost everybody goes through them in the process of resetting the body and getting healthy again. But it's been almost a full year. And so Mallory, what, what now has changed for you um, compared to a year ago? Oh, everything has changed. Um, I, I feel like I am 
back to my old self, I guess, that I hadn't been in a really long time. Um, a year ago, I think to where I was a year ago, I was super fatigued. I couldn't even last a full day without taking at least one, probably more hour long naps. I was uncomfortable anytime I ate anything. I was then working out because it felt made me feel a little bit better. But at the end of the day, I was just so tired. I couldn't even think straight. And now I wake up, wake up in the morning and I'm awake and I'm ready to go. And I just, I feel really confident in the, the decisions that I'm making in terms of like my nutrition and sleep habits to really be able to listen to my body and care for it and do everything that needs to be done to maintain being healthy. Mm -hmm. Mallory's done beautifully and she's worked hard implementing our recommendations and one of the nice benefits of all, of all this is that Mallory's now learned what to do to take care of herself. Um, Mallory did have some before and after pictures that I'll put <laughs> up on the screen here. From previously she had a bad case of SIBO which results oftentimes a lot of bloating, a lot of visible bloating in some cases. Mm -hmm. Some people come in after they eat they look like they're pregnant. It's kind of what Mallory looked like before. Yeah. And now she's got that nice flat stomach and she's, she's not bloated anymore. Her digestion is efficient. And as a result of that, her energy is better. She's able to focus at work. She just feels better all over. She can get back to living her life as she was uh, when she was healthy in the past. So uh, Mallory, we're just, we're absolutely delighted. Um, you've done, you've done very well. You've worked hard. You've earned all the, the positive improvements that you've had. No more Zyfaxin. No more. <laughs> no more drugs. No. A couple supplements no is needed to support you here or there, but even that is a temporary thing. So you've, rather than treat your symptoms as what was happening before, we're now creating the right conditions for you to get healthy, recreate your body, normalize function, and so that you can be healthy for the foreseeable future. So thank you for sharing your story. Yes, thank you guys. It. It's been great. I would not be here in the same way.